All right, in this video, I'm going to be sharing um, an overview and a disassembly of my custom made SEMA X11 FPV. This thing only weighs, I think, about 38 grams with everything inside of it. Um, the X11 has a fairly easy time with that weight due to its uh, large gear driven props. Um, there's the nice thing about the X11 is the non-camera model still has all the space that the camera model does. So there's a lot of hollow space in the bottom and uh, there's a hollow space where the lens... Now this is just using a 10 milliwatt transmitter. I really don't feel you need much more than that for a micro quad because you're not going to be flying it that that far anyways. Um, the video transmitter was about $10 on Banggood and the camera is about $10 on Banggood as well and I can put links to those in the description. So let's get to opening this thing up and seeing exactly how it works. All right, so here we have the bottom portion of the quadcopter disassembled. Uh, we've got the camera module sitting up front here, uh, the battery tray underneath that is the video transmitter, and we've got a quarter length whip antenna hanging off the back of here. Um, on the bottom of here, we have a uh, 70 milliamp E-Flight LiPo battery and that plugs directly into the video transmitter. First off, we've got this camera module sitting up front. It's very easy to add your own video hardware into here. Um, the lens um, is replaced just by a stock plastic cover that fits in there. So all you really have to do is remove that plastic cover, um, unthread the lens, fit the sensor module into there, and screw the lens back in. You do need to do a couple things to get this sensor module as far forward possible as you can. The sensor module is a fairly large square here, and that doesn't quite fit with this uh, rounded curve at the bottom here, so I had to take a little bit of uh, material out of here using a Dremel cutoff wheel, and that allowed the uh, bottom corner of that to peek out through there. And I resealed that hole up with just a little bit of um, hot glue, and then I used a little bit of a black paint marker in order to kind of make it match the rest of the quadcopter. Now, with that being a slightly larger lens module than the stock camera, um, I did have to cut this battery box a little shorter. However, the stock battery does still fit perfectly fine. In fact, it bumps right up to this camera module, and the stock battery ends about right here. And I will pop this cover off. And here we have the video transmitter. And this is just a Boss Cam uh, 10 milliwatt transmitter. Um, there's plenty of room for all the wiring to go up front to the camera, um, no worries there. And I used a quarter length whip antenna for here. A uh, quarter wavelength whip antenna seems to work just fine. I get fairly good range with it. Um, I did try a clover leaf briefly with this and it worked fairly okay, but it did weigh a bit more and it's a lot bulkier and it uh, blocked the battery um, I decided to go with a battery instead of powering it off of the main battery just due to noise concerns. Um, I tried a couple filters with this and running it off the main battery just didn't seem to work as good as I'd hoped. Um, I could use a bigger battery along with some capacitors and uh, maybe an inductor to uh, kind of help filter it out but it never really went away and um, for all the mess that it created inside of here for wiring I said uh, I might as well just use an external battery. And uh, two grams is kind of a lot for this, but um, it, it seems to carry it just fine. Um, that saves a little bit on the main flight pack too, so I really don't think the uh, reduction in flight time is all that great using that second battery out there. So here we have it finished all put back together. Um, here's the monitor I have for my transmitter using a SEMA X8 transmitter. And uh, the screen fits pretty well on it. Uh, I think it's uh, FX408. Uh, I'll put the link for that in the description too. Um, yeah, the quality on the camera is actually pretty good. 